Good evening. One of the problems, of course, for communication between the generations is that each generation uses its own slang. When I was 18 or 20, kids were walking about going wicked and rad, and, yet, and yes, they did really say this stuff um, far more often than they probably should have. In an aid to promote cultural sort of understanding between the generations, I've decided to give a nice link here to a dictionary of roadman slang. <laughs> this way, when we have these wonderful videos which are to constantly going on about naughty naughty people from sort of ethnic groups or naughty stuff and naughty programs where they can't follow them and how dreadful they are, and somebody is in an ethnic area, they may be able to translate them. Tomorrow I'll be doing a cockney uh, <laughs> dictionary so the youngsters can understand our soul fossils. Anyway, here we are, peng things, a cheeky A to Z of roadman slang. It's a truth university acknowledge that you can't spend any time in London without catching a phrase or two of roadman slang. It is indeed. And I love these adverts, by the way, before I continue at the top, try to recommend food at me, including a restaurant with a rather ridiculous name of Egg Slut. <laughs> Great. Um, in any case, how how we go with some roadman slang to start you off with the basics? As I say, tomorrow we'll do Cockney. Allow it. Let's start with the phrase you'll hear plenty of it. Allow it. Allow it means to stop doing something, to leave something alone. Most often contracted to allow it. Allow it, bruv. <laughs> For example, <laughs> I would love it if some people who did silly videos about generalizations about race or ethnicity would allow it. Bait, one of my favorite. Bait means obvious. If someone's been bait, it means that they're being obvious and annoying, a bit like someone who is trying to use roadman phrases without knowing what they mean. That's bait, bruv. Bruv, as you can see, I've now moving on to joining together. Another common word in London roadman slang. Bruv is short for brother and is often used between men to address each other, whether they're actually brothers or not. Well, that one's really found in Cockney slang as well, to be quite frank. Bear. Bear is a little word that can be used in many contexts. We're not talking about teddy bears here. It means really, but depending on the situation, it could also describe being have a lot of something, and it can be used as a superlative, etc., etc. It's a multifunctional word, <laughs> such as, I don't know, Jimi Hendrix is a bear great guitarist, or... There are bear chips on that McDonald's meal I had yesterday. Bucky. Or Bucky. This, I've heard this pronounced both ways. There's a couple of sparkling variations that was on this one. Yes, because these are, this is called slang for the person writing this. Bucky can be excused to describe a person that, a thing that is strange or weird. For example, that Boris Johnson is Bucky. Uh, the next one is really old Cockney, a bird. Um, <laughs> I don't really suggest you start walking around calling most women a bird anymore. You may find your, yourself taking flying lessons <laughs> after that one, as women don't really love being called one. Chirps, it means to chat someone up. If someone is trying to flirt with you, you can ask you trying to chirps me. Clapped. The word clapped is mean but very funny. It's a way to describe someone who is less appealing on the eyes, a.k.a. butters. Be careful with this one. You don't want to offend a road man, or a road woman for that matter, or anyone if you could avoid it. Dench. First introduced by Grime Arthur's Little Bizzle in 2012. Dench can be used to describe anything or anyone that's good or attractive. Ends. You'll often hear a roadman say, these are my ends. He doesn't mean the ends of his clothing or the ends of the shoelaces. He means where he's from, the area he grew up in or the area he associates with. Fam. Fam is one of the most common road words, like roadman slang words, similarly to brav. It's used to greet someone that isn't necessarily family, but you're very close to. Fresh. Fresh means new and is often used to describe something positively. It combines forgive with the next roadman slang word, garms. Comes from the word garment to mean clothes. You might hear someone, I like your fresh garms, meaning they like your fresh 
your new outfit. There's creps on this list. Who wrote this flipping list? <laughs> They've not been spinning any time much in London. They haven't got creps on it. G, gassed. If you're excited about something, swap out for that word for gassed. I hope you're gassed at your learning roadman slang words. I would be if you'd included some of the more obvious ones. Also used in Cockney slang, geezer can be used in a positive or negative context to refer to a man. Hype. Now, we all know the word hype. It has a similar positive meaning to roadmen. But I trust me when I say this word is everywhere. <laughs> the phrase believe the hype is commonplace, meaning that something is really play- <sighs> good and reserved as all the praise it gets. Or if we're talking about the British government, it would be don't believe the hype. In it. In it is a classic roadman slang that is very easy to overdo. Literally, the word is a contraction, of, isn't it? And he could have pointed out whoever wrote this or she. That it's also a continuation of a Cockney slang word. And it is used on the ends of phrases to affirm what we've just said. Learning roadman slang is easy, isn't it? Jokes. As you can imagine, something that is jokes is very funny. Well, you could use that about the British government, but it would be generally... You'd be talking about bad jokes. Although it can be used in a sarcastic way to describe something is not really not funny. Again, we'd be talking about the British government. Context is key here. Long. This word is often used to describe tasks that are difficult or will take ages to complete. Now, that's so long, fam. Or a long thing. A bit like the, the, the government's time in office, which seems to be a very long thing indeed. Lips, this means to kiss someone. If you're on a night out in London, you might find yourself lipsing someone after a few drinks. Mandem is const- commonly used by males to describe their group of friends. Your crew is your mandem. The, gr- the group of Clemos would be a uh, an army of mandems. Nang. Nang is one of the slightly rarer slang, romance slang words. I don't really ever hear, hear kids use this one too much anymore. It means something that is good. Oh, owned is a word that dates back to the 1990s among internet hackers, but has since made its way into the roadman lexicon. It means to dominate and is usually shout at someone they mean to fade in an argument or game. To par, someone offers to insult a book or make a fool out of them. Peng. Peng of this one of those words that always makes it into videos where Americans guess UK slang. And it's a Good reason. It's such a good word, but it's so random. Meaning attractive is usually used to describe a good-looking woman. For example, Marilyn Monroe was Peng. And so was Sophia Loren. And Lauren Bacall. And I'm showing my age again. Peak. Somewhat confusingly, peak can be used to describe a situation that is good or bad. Most roadmen will use the word negatively. Hey, that's peak. Though plenty of places across the world, UK will describe something as positive as peak. As you can see, roadmen have an interesting like philosophy here that's full of ambiguities where they embrace the positive and negative aspects of life. Ratete is used at the end of a list to mean etc. Quite funny if that one caught on to be used for real at the end of, I don't know, academic essays or something. Roll with. If you roll with someone, it means you spend time with someone. Or that can be also used figuratively be that you get on with well with someone. Safe is one of those roadman slangs that is completely nuanced. It, it can be used to say something is good or cool, but you can just also use it to greet or say goodbye to somebody. Thing. Often paired with thing, she's a peng thing. It's literally just a contracted version of thing and is used very often by roadmen. It's often also a rather nice brand of <laughs> um, grapefruit uh, carbonated grapefruit drink that you can find in some shops in London. Vexed. While this word isn't solely used by roadmen, it means angry and is often used like, why are you vexed? You could also ask somebody who tried to vex me, which means I try to make me angry. For example, today's exchange is about the whole situation around the boat for Gaza in, <laughs> in the chambers of the House of Commons has produced a lot of people who are vexed. And I should imagine there's quite a lot of shouting and there'll be quite a lot of people are properly vexed up there. And there'll be bare shouting going on way into the night in those chambers. Wasteman. One of my favourite roadman insults. A wasteman is something who is acting foolishly or being annoying. Or, 
as someone who's just generally useless. I'm sure you can think of your least favourite politician, for example, whip. That's just another word for a car. And we'll do, as this site offers cockney rhyming slang, and I hope it offers a bigger variety than this, we'll do some cockney rhyming slang to aid this intergenerational episode tomorrow. And I see, again, I've got these this bar of restaurants, uh, and I know I've got one called Fat Pundit. Ugh. These are great names for restaurants, I must say.